So Britain's Tyson Fury is the new WBA, IBF and WBO heavyweight champion after taking a unanimous points decision against Vladimir Klitschko. The winner by unanimous decision from the United Kingdom... A former heavyweight champion, David Hay, joins us. David, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, give us your fight report. What did you think of um, Fury's my victory? Fight report, I w- first off, I, I woke up this morning with a smile on my face. I thought I had a real bizarre dream, and then I had to check the internet and realise that Tyson Fury is actually the best heavyweight on the planet now. You know, no one can really dispute that, argue that he beat the man who beat the man who beat the man. So you have to, you have to just recognise that Tyson Fury, as bizarre as he is with... His, his antics, he's the man now. So uh, I think all, all, everyone, every fighter in the heavyweight division has now um, got their guns pointed at Tyson Fury. So he's probably, uh, he's, he's, he's relishing this time. He said to everyone who listen, he was going to do it and how he was going to do it. You know, I didn't believe he had it in his, in his arsenal to beat someone like Vladimir Klitschko, but he proved everybody wrong. So credit to him. I saw uh, yesterday you, you called the fight on on Twitter after about five yeah. rounds, didn't you? Yeah. David? After, I mean... after, the th- after the first round, I knew. After the first round, I was thinking, what's happening? I then understood why Vladimir Klitschko wanted that big padded canvas. He didn't want Tyson Fury to be able to move. He he tried to mess with his bandages. He tried to, you know, tried all these different little tricks and antics to try to unsettle Fury, but nothing worked. You know, normally he can get away with these sort of uh, tricks and antics, but he he just didn't work for him tonight. We'll come on to the antics in a moment. Were you disappointed overall at the way Klitschko performed? I mean, he, he seemed um, a bit of a shadow of, of his former self. What do you, you think? Could, you, you, could always, you could always kind of say that, but um, I believe that to, uh, Vladimir Klitschko is a bit of a bully. He's normally the big man in the fight. The moment he got in the ring with someone young, fresh, and was bigger than him, he didn't know how to deal with it. You know, I've always had to fight bigger guys. You know, I'd love to fight guys who are three stones smaller than me. That would make life real easy for me. And um, the referee allows him to hold constantly without taking a point. The referee even took a point off of Tyson Fury. Can you imagine that? How many times did uh, Klitschko hold Fury in that fight? Clinched him, held him. You're allowed to do it three times before you get a point. Do it another two times, you're disqualified. He held him about 20-odd 20 20 odd times in one round, I counted. It was... Um, it was a bit of a shambles, but the right man won on the night, and we, we have a new heavyweight champion. Yeah, um, you make a point about the size. Um, obviously, yeah. Fury was way bigger. So, yeah. in terms of tactics, Klitschko, what what didn't he do? Because you fought that chap Valuev, didn't you? And yeah, he was about six feet taller than you. I mean, he was seven <laughs> feet tall, wasn't he? Yeah, but what Vladimir didn't do, he didn't let his hands go. He was too concerned with what might possibly come back. You know, he's used to being able to throw a shot and then lean on his opponent. So the guy, he's punching. Vladimir, Vladimir Kitschko is used to punching downwards. So when he misses the punch, he's still safe. He could then hold his opponent, push his opponent to the floor, referee says break, and they start again. This time round, he had to punch upwards. And to punch upwards, you, you your chin has to come up in the air. You're, you're open to a counterattack. And he just it didn't seem like he had the heart to let his hands go. Um, how good can he go on to be, do you think? I, I genuinely don't know. We, 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 we'll find out in the rematch if that happens. I genuinely can't see Vladimir Klitschko going back in the ring and doing that again. He had zero success bar the last minute and a half of the fight. But other than that, he he had no success. I had Tyson Fury winning so many more rounds. I don't know why the scores are so close on so many people's scorecards. But, you know, I, I, I hope he can, he can win the, the rematch again and then bring the titles back to Britain, a free agent to fight the best possible fighters. You've got, um, jo- you got Anthony Joshua, who's ranked really highly in some of the governing bodies that um, uh, Fury now has a title of. Um, obviously, you've got myself. I'm making a comeback on uh, January 16th for the O2 Arena, so I'm going to get myself back in the mix after that. You know, I'm fighting a top-10 fighter, so I should have a ranking then. It just makes things real interesting. You know, Dylan White, you never know. He could pull the upset off of um, uh, Joshua um, in December. Anything, it just it just throws the, it throws the division up in the air and makes it really exciting for once. Well, stay with us if you would, because we're going to get uh, more reaction now on Tyson Fury's unanimous uh, points victory over Vladimir Klitschko, another former heavyweight champion. Lennox Lewis was ringside. Uh, were you surprised? No, I wasn't surprised. I mean, you know, the styles make fights, and, you know, this style of uh, Fury's really worked against uh, Vladimir and... Uh, he frustrated him with movement. He frustrated him with a lot of feints and, um, you know, throwing kind of wild 
loose punches, but you know Fury came in the fight very relaxed. He came in the fight uh, warmed up. He was warmed up before the bell even rang, so he was ready. And Vladimir found it very difficult to contend with. And overall, how good do you think Tyson Fury is? Um, he's 27. How long could he hold the titles? I mean, Klitschko had held various belts for the best part of nine years. Yeah, I mean, he could hold the title pretty long because, there's, you know, the guys that are there are uh, not that good. They can be beaten. And, you know, at this point, he can be beaten, but I don't see anybody that uh, can beat him right now in the sense of he can beat himself if he wanted to, but he did really good. You see him reigning as the champion for a considerable time, do you, Lennox? Well, until somebody figures him out, you know, he stood back and basically watched uh, Klitschko for a few fights, and uh, Vladimir really didn't switch up his style. He boxed the same way. He was used to fighting guys actually smaller than him, and I did say it before the fight uh, that, you know, big guys always give you a problem because you have to punch up at them and you know he's been used to being the big guy all the time so now he was the smaller guy in the ring tell me about tyson fury's character before the fight he said a few unsavory things as boxers often do but some people feel that he goes over the top with the way he behaves um what do you think well, you know, you you, you just got to stand up to him. You know, if you if you allow him to uh, say what he wants without really coming back at him, then you know you're basically soft to him. He can't, he won't respect you unless you directly come back at him. Is it necessary for him to behave quite the way he does, though? What do you think? Well, I think it's you know really it's like this. It's just a different character in the heavyweight scene right now. And his character seems to uh, really capture the imaginations of a lot of people around the world. Capture the imaginations, though, in a good way? Does he not sometimes bring boxing a bit into disrepute, do you think? Well, absolutely. You know, now that he's champion, he has to really kind of behave himself a little bit more because, you know, obviously there's there's a lot of kids and a lot of people looking up to him and, uh, you know, a lot of different um, boxers and and people will have a lot of different things to say about him. Yes, you believe he could become more of a role model? Yes. The other big boxing story this week, David Hay has announced a comeback. What do you think about that? Where has he been? You know, people are looking forward to seeing him come back and, uh, you know, I hear he's fighting at the O2 and, you know, that's going to be a big promotion and, um, you know, I guess people are looking for him to... uh, do something. Uh, is it a wise decision to come back? Well, he has to make that decision himself. I don't know if it's a wise decision or if, if it's a good decision, but time will tell and, uh, you know, it always shows itself. Yes. He's a guest on our programme this morning. Give him a quick message, if you would. Yes, David. Hey, make sure you come back strong, fit and looking good. So, you know, we want to see good things from your fight. Yes. If he was to fight Fury... Um, who would win? Um, I would have to give Fury the upper hand. Just, you know, I've always believed that a good big guy can always beat a good small man. Lennox Lewis, a pleasure to have you on the programme. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Bless. There we are, David. Have we made the fight yet for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, Lennox is a massive, massive idol of mine. And the fact that he fought bigger guys than him, he, he actually beat uh, Vladimir's bigger brother, Vitaly Klitschko. He did. He beat Michael Grant, who was also bigger than him. Yeah. Now, he showed how to beat, a, how a big man beats an even bigger man. Yeah. So, you know, I, I'd definitely watch his. If I, if I was to fight. Um, uh, Tyson Fury, I definitely watch uh, a lot of Lennox Lewis in the lead-up to that fight. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned the Grant fight, and we've been talking mm. about the size. I was there in New York for that, and I remember all week they were talking about the size. And, you know, Michael Grant lasted about 10 seconds, if memory yeah. serves correct. That's because Lennox lets his right hand go. He really does let the let the bums go and gets the guy's respect. And um, that's how you got to deal with a big guy. You know, you can't pit a pat punch him. You can't keep fainting. You can't, you can't just... Uh, clinch at every every opportunity you got to, you got to let the let the bombs go and um you know then it's definitely showed how to be yeah. a, a, how to be a bigger man well uh, we'll get into why you're coming back in a second but david hay former heavyweight boxing champion as a guest this morning and david you know andy murray very very well i mean andy's such a big boxing fan what a day ahead it is for him uh, and the rest of the team yeah, no doubt i know um, andy would have been up probably up late watching the boxing last night he watches any any 
domestic boxing. You, you watch any type of boxing. So uh, James Aguil won the IBF title uh, last night. Um, and I hope he wasn't watching that because that, that finished around 5 a.m. <laughs> so my, 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 my hopes is he, he watched it he watched it this morning. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, he's, he's all to win, and uh, you know, everyone's behind him. So why are you coming back? To do what Tyson Fury did and win, win, become the number one in the division. You know, I, I, I had the WBA heavyweight title belt. I beat a big guy, but I wanted to do what I did at Cruiserweight and unify the belts. Um, I tried and failed. You know, my, my size obviously wasn't enough to beat uh, Vladimir Klitschko's style. Tyson Fury has the size to beat that style, so you know, congratulations to him. You know, I'd, I'd like the opportunity to work my way up the rankings and, and have a crack at a new champ. So um, that's always been my... I always said from the start, everyone said, what would you do if um, Tyson Fury loses? I said, I've got no interest in him. The only chance I've got any interest in him is if he becomes the best in the division by beating Vlad. I said, don't care how he does it, as long as he takes the belts away, that makes him, you know, my target, and he is my target now. You know, I'm fighting a top ten fighter, um, a guy called Mark Demore, the Dominator. Um, he hasn't lost in, a, in over a decade, so that should be fun at the O2 Arena. So I'm looking forward to that. Just to get, he's he's ranked number ten. So we, it's a nice start after three and a half years um, absence from the ring. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing seeing what I got left. <laughs> and yeah, how many fights would you need before you could genuinely say, yeah, I'm I'm ready to to, to, to go again for a fight of that scale? Yeah, I don't think um, there's any... any uh, I think everybody knows that um, myself and the Furies uh, don't really get on that great. Obviously, we've got a bit of a history. Mm -hmm. um, so they're not going to be giving me any voluntary fights. You know, I'll have to put myself in a mandatory position, which means I'll have to work my up, work way up the rankings and become the mandatory challenger for one of his titles. Um, so I've done that before in the past. You know, I can do it again. I mean, I'm, I'm trying not to focus too much on, on Tyson Fury right now as I've got a big fight coming up myself. And once that fight's out of the way, I'll look at... For instance, we don't know who's going to win with Anthony Joshua and Dylan White. That fight's still that fight's up for grabs. You know, two undefeated fighters. You know, so boxing's in a really healthy place. I'm really happy with how boxing is right now. You know, you got Klitschko over there in Germany trying all his tricks and all his little moves to maintain the belts there. That's gone now. Thank God for that. We've now got a, a crazy. A uh, guy with the belts, Tyson Fury, singing in the ring, saying all kinds of crazy stuff. It's, it, although it, it might be a bit negative from time to time, it does make you laugh or make you smile. And that's, that's, that's better than being bored to tears by Vladimir Klitschko. Well, yeah, I mean, boxing has a tradition of t doing it. And, uh, I mean, you've been involved in saying <laughs> yeah, things well, that you, you, you shouldn't have done. Do you, do you think there, there is a limit? I mean, you probably regret saying a few um, of the things that you said, don't it, you, David? It, it, it depends on uh, the situation. Yeah, lots of people say lots of things, but what what you got to realise is Tyson Fury is, is was fighting on a pay per view platform. Of course, the but more, there's more in life to selling he, tickets, I, isn't there? What, I don't know. It depends if when a fighter no, gets I, in the ring. There's been many fighters who have got brain damage and and, di and and died in the ring, and they had nothing to show for it. You know, at least he he's going to be compensated for for something. You know, more people, more press he gets, more people like you talk about it. The more people buy it, the more money he gets. So it's kind of a kind of a, a fine balance with what you say mm -hmm. to how you portrayed and being a role model and uh, infusing the kids in a positive way. I get I get that. And as a 35 year old now. I do see it differently than I did do when I was 26, 27. You, you've probably grown up. I just want to ask you one one last question, yeah. David. I mean, I mean, I remember being with you in Belfast at the World Championships. Yeah. When were they, were they, <laughs> That was about 2001 or something, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was 2001, yeah, yeah many, many years yeah, ago. Yeah, I mean, you, your life, in a way, boxing life, has flashed by. There you are, an amateur, and I remember saying, <laughs> are you going to go pro? You go pro, you become a champion, you retire, <laughs> and you're back again. A quick final thought on, on why are you doing it? I'm doing it to prove that I'm I'm the best. You know, I believe that I underperformed that heavyweight. Although I achieved a lot, I still believe I could achieve a lot more. And I just wanted I want the platform to go out there and and do it. Once I've once I do what Tyson Fury's done and win all the belts, I'll I'll be happy. Then I can say I was a unified cruiserweight champion of the world and unified heavyweight champion of the world. And that's it. There's nothing more to do other than keep fighting it and then finally get old in the ring like Vladimir Klitschko did <laughs> and get beat by a younger, fresher fighter. So I don't want to do that. I just want to win the belts, prove a point to myself that I am the best on the planet. When that, once that's recognised by everybody, I go, oh, thank you very much. There we are. Time to, time to slip away into the darkness. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> enjoy this Sunday off because you're going to be working for the next few. David, lovely to chat to you again. Cheers. You too, you too. Talk to you soon. Uh,